you want to build a video editing PC, but you look around and realize the prices for parts, especially graphics cards, are insane right now. Hey, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I want to help you out because contrary to what you may be hearing and seeing, it is actually possible to get a decently powerful computer with a good graphics card without breaking the bank. Intrigued? Okay, the secret is that you buy a pre-built video editing computer. And today I want to share with you some options for pre-built computers that are gonna be capable of editing 4K video for under a thousand bucks. Of course, they will also be great for photo editing, music production, After Effects, 3D modeling, even some gaming. Incidentally, I will link to all of these computers that I recommend down in the video description to save you time as well. So, getting right into it, the first pre-built video editing PC that I recommend you consider is going to be the HP Omen 25L. This computer starts at 800 bucks at the time of making this video, and it comes with a six core 12 thread Intel processor, as well as an NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics card, which should be capable of editing 4K video. The only con of this build is that it only comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, and I really recommend a minimum of 16 gigabytes for video editing, so I would use HP's configurator tool to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM for another 100 bucks, which brings the total for this computer up to 900. Of course, if you have more budget to spend, I would also consider upgrading the SSD to at least 512 gigabytes for only $40 more, as well as upgrading the CPU to the eight core model. I will warn you though, if you do this, the price will go up over $1,000. So don't go too crazy unless you want to be spending a lot more money. Up next, for my second recommendation, we're sticking with HP, but we're gonna be going over to Best Buy, which is another place that HP sells their computers. And this is still an HP 25L desktop with the same CPU, but this build comes with an upgraded NVIDIA 1660 Super graphics card, which is a pretty significant upgrade over the previous build's 1650. Most importantly though, this graphics card comes with six gigabytes of RAM versus only four on the 1650, and that should definitely be helpful if you're editing higher resolution footage. Of course, if you also want to game on it, this graphics card will be a significant upgrade as well over the 1650 and be capable of pushing higher frame rates and higher resolution. Unfortunately though, this build does have a con, and that is that it only comes with eight gigs of RAM. It should be very user-friendly to upgrade though, and prices for RAM are still pretty reasonable right now, so you should be able to easily upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM for less than 100 bucks. I will link down below in the description to RAM options for you if you decide to go with this build. Without the RAM upgrade, this build is 950, and with the RAM upgrade, I would expect it to be pretty close to $1,000. Okay, lastly for HP, we have one more build, and this is the Omen 30L. We're also making the switch from Intel over to AMD Ryzen, with this one coming with a Ryzen 5 5600X 6 core 12 thread processor and a Radeon RX 5500 graphics card. As it is, for video editing, all of these three builds should be pretty similar, but if you want to game, I would go with the second option over this one. Keep in mind though, just like the other builds, you are going to have to upgrade the RAM as well from eight gigs to 16, but you don't have to do this yourself. You can use HP's configurator and that's gonna cost you another 100 bucks, bringing the total for this computer up to 1,050. Yes, it's a little over budget, but if the other two are out of stock, I still think this is a good choice. Don't forget to upgrade the SSD for 40 bucks if you can afford it. And if you have any more money, upgrading to the Ryzen 7 5800X with the eight core processor is going to provide a very nice jump in editing speed. Moving on, we are finally getting away from HP and we are going back to Best Buy, but this time we are going to go with a Lenovo brand computer. The Lenovo Legion Tower 5i for 930 bucks is gonna be very similar to the other HP Omen that was sold by Best Buy, but it has a slightly newer Intel CPU, which still has the same amount of six cores and 12 threads of performance. And this computer comes with an NVIDIA 1650 Super. So it's right between the first build 1650 and the second build's 1660 Super. Put that 1650 Super right in the middle for 930 bucks. Personally, for video editing, I don't think it's a bad choice, especially if the other options are out of stock. One thing to keep in mind though, just like the HP, is that this Lenovo only comes with eight gigs of memory, so you are gonna have to manually upgrade the RAM yourself. I'll also link down below to memory that should work with this computer if you wanna upgrade it to 16 gigs of RAM. And with that upgrade, you're looking at spending around a thousand bucks. 
Okay, and those are your PC options for video editing computers under a thousand, but I know there are probably some of you out there that are already typing in the comments, and this is something that I definitely need to address. We need to talk about Apple. In short, the stuff that Apple is doing for video editors with their new video editing computers is incredibly impressive. And so for basically the first time ever, I find myself recommending an Apple computer for under a thousand bucks that's actually powerful enough for 4K video editing. So my last recommendation for you to consider when it comes to pre-built video editing computers is the Apple Mac mini with the new M1 chip. People love this computer. And even though it doesn't have some fancy dedicated graphics card, the magic that Apple has done with their Apple Silicon and hardware encoders and decoders has made the M1 Mac mini very powerful for video editing. The M1 Mac mini starts at 700 bucks, but while this base model comes with the most powerful CPU and GPU that Apple currently offers with the M1, it also only comes with eight gigs of memory. And for 4K video editing, I really recommend upgrading to 16 gigabytes for $200 more. Also, please remember that this is Apple and this is what is known as unified memory, meaning that this RAM is soldered to the motherboard of the computer and is fully integrated with the CPU and GPU, meaning there's no way for you to open up this computer and upgrade the RAM after you buy it. So if you want to upgrade your RAM, make sure you do it whenever you purchase. There's no way to do it later. Now, if 900 bucks is a little more than you're wanting to spend, you can actually save some money if you're a student, or if you happen to know a student, or if you're a homeschool teacher, anything like that, you are eligible for an Apple educational discount. With this discount, you can get the M1 Mac Mini from Apple for 830 bucks instead of 900. If you're not a student though, I have occasionally seen refurbished M1 Mac Minis pop up for sale on Apple's refurbished Mac store for as low as 760. So if you get lucky, that could be one way to save money. Overall though, I'm really happy to see that Apple has made this list. And another plus is that because Apple is now making their own CPUs and GPUs, you don't have to deal with price gouging scalpers that come with the normal GPU market. With this computer, you can buy it new from Apple and there's a very good chance that it's gonna be in stock. In conclusion, those are some pre-built video editing computers for under a thousand bucks that should be great for 4K video editing. All these computers are linked down below if you wanna check them out yourself. I will also link down below to my video editing PC build guides in case you say to yourself, I don't want pre-built, I wanna build my own. I am more than happy to help you out with that. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.